Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Silent Falcon partners with Robotic Skies. Sikorsky flies Blackhawk with optionally piloted vehicle technology. And EU-wide rules on drones published. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Robotic Skies has been selected by Silent Falcon UAS Technologies to provide its customers access to a comprehensive UAS serve and support package. Robotic Skies adds Silent Falcon to its list of commercial UAS OEMs, seeking to improve customer service by providing access to experienced OEM trained maintenance technician and support professionals. The turnkey field service programs are designed to keep customers aircraft flying safely, efficiently and affordably. Through Robotic Skies Network, customers can schedule regular maintenance or deal with AOG situations at one of its more than 170 certified service centers across 40 countries. We welcome Silent Falcon to the Robotic Skies community, and we stand ready to fulfill the maintenance requirements of their customers, said Brad Hayden, CEO of Robotic Skies. Wherever and whenever a need for maintenance arises worldwide, Silent Falcon can count on Robotic Skies to keep its fleet airworthy and producing revenue for its customers. Silent Falcon incorporates the latest technological advances in solar power, RF communications, batteries, sensor, composite materials, and aeronautical design. Now let's take a quick look at a few stories making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for our Unmanned Minute. ParaZero Technologies has completed the testing and compliance process for ParaZero Safe Air Mavic in accordance with ASTM F3322-18. ParaZero's ASTM compliant Safe Air Mavic is designed specifically for DJI's Mavic 2 series. The Safe Air system is a smart parachute system that monitors UAS flight in real time, identifies critical failures, and autonomously triggers a parachute. The system contains a flight termination system, a black box to enable post-deployment analysis, and a warning buzzer to alert people below a falling drone. AeroVironment says it has acquired Pulse Aerospace for $25.7 million in cash. The deal adds new VTOL options to its UAS portfolio. Pulse Aerospace sells small vertical takeoff and landing systems, along with its HeliSynth technology, which AV says brings flight control, payload, and endurance capabilities to market at attractive price points for both defense and commercial end markets. At Amazon's Mars conference in Las Vegas last week, the company unveiled its latest Prime Air drone design. The fully electronic drones are designed to fly up to 15 miles and deliver packages under 5 pounds to customers in less than 30 minutes. And with the help of Amazon's fulfillment and delivery network, the company expects to scale Prime Air both quickly and efficiently, delivering packages via drone to customers within 5 months. After receiving positive feedback from its webinar and 2019 FAA UAS Symposium attendees, the FAA has optimized their program content and added a session to include the recent changes to recreational flying. The FAA canceled the webinar on June 13th. Airspace authorizations, what are they and why do they matter? The content from this webinar will be added to the What is Low Altitude Authorization and Notification System webinar. The webinars start on June 19th at 2 p.m. with Public Safety, How to Start a Drone Program, and end on September 12th at 4 p.m. with How Public Safety Agencies Can Fly Drones During Emergencies. To get a complete webinar schedule, head over to FAA.gov. Now back to the rest of the news. A technology kit developed by Sikorsky was used for the first time to operate a Black Hawk helicopter with full authority fly-by-wire flight controls. The May 29th flight marked the official start to the flight test program for the soon-to-be optionally piloted aircraft. Follow-on flight testing aims to include envelope expansion throughout the summer, leading to fully autonomous flight in 2020. 
This is the first full authority fly-by wire retrofit kit developed by Sikorsky that has completely removed mechanical flight controls from the aircraft. Through DARPA's Air Crew Labor and Cockpit Automation System Program, Sikorsky is developing an OPV approach it describes as pilot-directed autonomy to give operators a confidence to fly aircraft safely, reliably and affordably, and optimally piloted modes, enabling flight with two, one, or zero crew. Sikorsky has been demonstrating its matrix technology on a modified S-76B called the Sikorsky Autonomy Research Aircraft. The aircraft, which has been in test since 2013, has more than 300 hours of autonomous flight. On June 11, 2019, the Common European Rules on Drones were published to ensure drone operations across Europe are safe and secure. The rules will help protect the safety and privacy of EU citizens while enabling the free circulation of drones and a level playing field with the European Union. The common rules will help drone operators, whether professional or recreational, to have clear understanding of what is allowed or not. Once drone operators have received an authorization in the state registration, they are allowed to freely circulate in the European Union. The new rules include technical as well as operational requirements. On one hand, they define the capabilities a drone must have to be flown safely. For instance, new drones will have to be individually identifiable, allowing authorities to trace a particular drone if necessary. On the other hand, the rules cover each operation type, from those not requiring prior authorization to those involving certified aircraft AMP operators as well as minimum remote pilot training equipment. The new rules will replace existing national rules in EU member states. While the EU regulations will enter into force over the following 20 days, it will be applicable only in one year to give member states and operators time to prepare. And that wraps things up for us today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you would like more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, Check out AUVSI.org or airborne-unmanned.net. Have a great day.